Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World Videos. I am Manish Agrawal and in this session of Atomic Structure, we will start with Neutron. Okay, we will see its, some of its properties and we will also summarize all this about atomic particles that we have studied till now. Okay, so uh, how was the Neutron first discovered? Well, it was discovered by James Chadwick. Okay, the scientist named James Chadwick and it was a simple experiment of bombardment of beryllium sheets with alpha particles. We had already seen that Rutherford had established structure of atom with bombardment of alpha particles on gold foils. So after that it became sort of a norm to try this experiment with different elements and different in different experimental conditions. So James Chadwick used alpha particles on beryllium sheets and he observed emission of some new particles okay so in terms of reaction if you want to see it okay this is a sort of a nuclear reaction basically which we haven't studied yet and which you won't be studying until your class 12 so this is beryllium atom okay so beryllium sheet is made up of beryllium atoms and alpha particle is helium with positive charge two positive charge okay so if you have an atom of helium you remove both of its electrons and what's left is the alpha particle okay so he2 positive is alpha particle it has atomic mass of 4 units and atomic number of 2 units okay charge of plus 2 so when you bombard beryllium sheets with helium particles or that is alpha particles you get carbon atom okay and a new unknown kind of particles are emitted which were represented by small letter n okay and these particles which emitted had certain properties and they found that this particle were common to all the elements not just beryllium okay but all the elements in our periodic table have these particles in them we don't have to go into the details of these experiment as per our syllabus all right but we do have to study a little bit more about this particle represented by n okay this was nothing but neutron all right and properties of neutron include that we represent them with small letter n they have no charge they are neutral particles so they are neither positively charged nor negatively charged so now we know of three subatomic particles protons which are positively charged okay electrons which are negatively charged and finally neutrons which are neutral okay which have no charge all right their mass is 1.675 if you round it off 1.675 into 10 to the power minus 27 kilogram so in grams that will be 1.675 multiplied with 10 to the power minus 24 gram okay in grams this will be the value so you see that they are approximately if you remember the mass of proton they are approximately same as that of neutron neutron is only slightly very slightly higher in mass than the proton all right so in general we assume them both to be of the same mass all right and it would be nice if you can remember this figure okay for from your examination point of view it would be better to just memorize this figure okay if not till three decimal points then only to 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 24 gram or 10 to the power minus 27 kilogram all right so let's summarize all the subatomic particles that we have studied till now and these are the only ones which we have to study in our syllabus okay so don't worry about that first we saw electrons which were discovered using cathode ray experiment okay so they have a symbol of e so they have a symbol of small e and a charge of minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb okay so this is the absolute charge on an electron okay and on one single electron all right so since this is the smallest charge which is possible in the world we say it has a relative charge of minus one all right that is we say it, it is one unit charge one electron represents one unit negative charge so relative charge of minus one so every charge in the world will be some integral multiple of this relative charge so it will be like always minus two minus three minus four and so on all right and mass of the electron in kilogram is 9.11 okay you can approximate it as 9.11 into 10 to the power minus 31 kilogram okay and in terms of atomic mass unit scale if you remember we have studied amu in mole concept 
or now it is known as unified mass that is simply u it is 0.00054 atomic mass unit or unified mass all right and similarly proton is represented by small p but with an absolute charge of plus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb so again the charge on one electron and one proton is exactly same only that they are oppositely charged one is negative or the other is positive so proton can be said to have a relative charge of plus one that is it represents one unit positive charge so if you have three protons you have three unit positive charge and so on all right whereas it has a mass of 1.672 or you can approximate it as 1.673 into 10 to the power minus 27 kilogram whereas electron was 10 to the power minus 31 kilogram so they have a difference of 10,000 right okay so 10000 all right and in atomic mass unit they have 1.00727 unified mass of mass all right so in kilogram their mass is 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 27 kilogram but in unified mass it is 1.007 Whereas neutron are represented by small n, they have no charge, so zero absolute charge, and obviously this means the relative charge will be zero, and mass is, as you can see, approximately same as that of neutron, sorry, proton, but neutron is slightly heavier than a proton. All right, so it is slightly heavier than proton, and its mass again in unified mass also they will have approximately same masses, so. This column you have to remember, this column you have to remember, this column you have to remember and this column you have to remember. Alright? But this column you can skip. This is just for your understanding that if you want to represent the same kilogram or gram masses in terms of unified mass, these are the values. So you can see that one neutron or one proton is approximately same as one U or one unified mass. So unified mass is often also defined as mass on one proton or mass on one neutron okay though its accurate definition as you might remember is 112 the mass of one carbon 12 atom all right so this is the exact definition of one u okay but you can approximate it as one mass of one neutron or one proton all right and in comparison to that you can see that electron weighs only 0.00054 u all right so that is like 1 by around 1830 times mass of one proton so an electron weighs 1 by 1830 times mass of the proton so in comparison to proton or neutron you can very easily neglect the mass of electron so while calculating atomic masses we often ignore this mass of electrons all right and we say that electrons have zero mass in terms of unified mass okay it's not obviously true the exact mass of electron is 0.00054 it obviously has some mass but it but it is so negligible that we often ignore it while making calculations or while calculating mass of an atom in all all right so just remember this one two three four and this fifth column okay you can skip this column so this summarizes all that we have studied till now in atomic structure and from next session we'll study some of new terms based on these subatomic particles called atomic mass mass number all right atomic number isotopes isobars and all these terms we'll look for one or two more classes and then we'll start with a new topic in atomic structure Okay, so until next time and once again thanks for watching Edupedia World Videos.